Peter Beck in the Rabbi from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. I was going to say neutrified, but that sounded totally wrong. I don't know. I just got caught in my head. It's very strange. Listen, I'm a bit discombobulated. I am in the Passover zone, right? This is uh, Passover is coming, and the goose is getting fat. We got how many? About five days left. It's the hugest deal, right? In in like religious Jewish world, it's the huge. You've got to clean everything you've got to get rid of every crumb of any cookie any bit of bread you've got to clean freaking it's over in, in in passover cleaning mode and it's crazy i've done like about four loads of laundry this morning so i'm running a bit late but what can you do what can you do dogs expect to be walked in uh, about 45 minutes well will the dog get a walk in 45 minutes yeah so this is i like to start the video with a bit of tension right <laughs> to see how they like a cliffhanger how's it gonna work out i don't know i don't know maybe the dog will maybe the dog won't uh, uh okay it's so time for a bit bit of a news walk video it's kind of strange i have to tell you uh um you know, they haven't really. Uh, yeah, I want to say they, the production team of the of the current era of Doctor Who, they haven't been exactly been, you know, circumspect about the, uh, you know, how much they're into, uh, you know, LBGTQ uh, plus issues. And I, I'm not trying to be a dick, but if I missed any letters out, I, I just it's hard to keep up. It, it, it genuinely, and I'm not being really, it's genuinely hard to keep up. Uh, uh, they really haven't been that circumspect about that at all, and how much they they find that very 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 important. Bit bit strange, you know. Like like look in in today's world, which is very different from the world two weeks ago, which is really weird. The, the, there's this weird uh, uh, connection between. And let's call it queerness, which I know gay people hate. <laughs> you know, gay people hate calling it queerness. There's a real weird, weird connection between queerness and paedophilia, right? It's just and very openly now. I'm not uh, the one making it up. You know, they, they also, there's this law in, in, in one state in America that you have to wait till a kid is 10 years old before you can start trying to convince them that they're, <laughs> they're bi or, or fluid or whatever, right? Whatever, whatever you want to do. I think that's, I think that's the other video I'm going to record today. Uh, uh, you have to wait till 10 and, they, and they're freaking out, right? They're like, no, no! Because I think really they want to try and get kids very, very young uh, to think, uh, uh, you know, whatever they want to believe is normal. And, 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 you know, when you take out a barrier and another barrier and another barrier, you, you pretty get, you pretty much get to uh, uh, paedophilia uh, pretty quickly. I guess the next step after that is bestiality. I, I don't know. I mean, like, what? it's like a domino. It's a domino. And, and you know, I, I wouldn't have necessarily thought that would be the case unless I saw it. And I've seen it. You've seen it. We've all seen it. Anyway, they're very much into that. They're very much. And so the uh, uh, the the, the uh, press has also kind of woken up to the whole Thasmin thing. Just like l literally yesterday. I'm like, like, really? And like, how have you not noticed? <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's not like they've been quiet about it. They woke up to Thasmin and they're super excited. No, I, I can understand that. Listen, it, there is a, a, um, it's a way of getting people to look at your articles. If you if you if you put the word lesbian in, it will do the trick. Look, Howard Stern put this out a long time ago. Most people, I think, most normative human males, right, heterosexual norm, normative male males, if they see the word lesbian, they're like, what? Yeah, wait, wait, what? 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 I, yes, I, I, you got my attention. You got my now. Listen, I, I'm not. I'm somebody who hasn't uh, watched porn for. Well over 20 years, like 30 years, like a long time, right? A long, long, long time. Must be probably over 30 years now. Anyway, and it took it took about 20 years before I realised, oh, that might be, be beneficial to me. Uh, uh, <laughs> but so, and it's not that I'm like anti, it's just I, uh, 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 yeah, it's not like I, I'm, yeah, I, I'm saying, no, no, Paul's terrible. I think Paul's awesome, which is why I don't watch it, right? Why I stay away. However, I still have the automated response. I hear the word lesbian, like, wait, wait, yeah, what? So, you know, that's why, yeah, why they're putting in, I think, what was it, Friends? Friends had a great line that explained it once. If, 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 you're, uh, uh, if you're somebody who doesn't understand the uh, um, predilection for uh, uh, um, heterosexual men, uh, cis, whatever, whatever the words we're going to use uh, uh, to turn their heads when they hear when they hear the word lesbian. Uh, I think friend, yeah, friends. Chandler had this uh, had this line. It's like, uh, uh, what was it? I just agree with both of them so much. 
And yes, I do. Yes, I do. Anyway, so uh, uh, it's not that surprising anyway. Well, so actually, one is reasonably surprising. But yeah, we're going to be looking at these articles. Uh, uh, and then we're going to look at Bleeding Cool, which, I, okay, but you can never know what to expect from Bleeding, bleeding Cool, right? It, you never know what could what be coming down the pike other than it's going to be uh, uh, something that you're really quite interested in and you want to look because it's... Uh, uh, somewhat of a car crash a lot of the time. So fine, so that's what we're going to be getting to. Whoa, whoa, Daisy, my doggy be getting a walk in 40 minutes. I don't think so. We'll find out, we'll find out. Listen, worst case scenario, she's going to pee on the floor and I'm going to have to clean up the pee. I mean, uh, okay, that's just where we are. I'm doing a lot of cleaning. Did I, did I mention Passover? Okay. Like, share, subscribe, comment, substat. Oh, wait, one second. Urgh, I forgot. I forgot. Okay, a, a great example of how the uh, how the good Lord move, uh, moves in mysterious ways. If you listen to my live stream on uh, on Sunday night, if you watch my live stream on Sunday, I, I ended it because I, there was a repairman coming for my freeze. One of my freezers. We have three freezers we have a lot of food uh uh which had stopped working right and uh and, and i was because it kept making the 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 power go out in this uh, you know in my basement which is where i am and so i warned everybody if the lights go out that's why so he turns up he turns up fixes it in like two minutes without blinking like <laughs> and 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 then when we mention uh uh we're talking about getting a guy into uh fix our air, condi our air condition in my bedroom has been uh a dead for like months right it's really like we've been meaning to get fixed just trying to get get around to it so anyway, he's like oh yeah i do that <laughs> so you know uh he delivered and basically i think he's he's uh, and it, yeah we really do need it done because it's gonna it's gonna get 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 hot in the ne next few weeks but uh um you know the good lord moves in mysterious ways he calls my uh my my, my freezer this is how a religious person thinks okay you, you don't have to think this way i'm not i'm not trying to make you think this way i'm just giving you an insight yeah the good lord made my freezer break in a very very minor way calling this guy in so he could get the job fixing my, my, my air conditioning uh uh good lord moves in mysterious ways anyway fine with that said like share subscribe comment substack all those things are awesome. What, what, what's Substack? What is Substack? Substack is my uh, uh, email newsletter. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to uh, get some content done for that today. Well, yeah, who knows? All, who knows the truth? I, I would, if I had a time machine, I would just use it to make an extra twelve hours a day. That's a hundred percent. Maybe I'll clone myself as well. Do, do most time machines do that? You got, you got, you got to assume, right? If, if, a, if, a, if you have a craft that can travel in the, in the, you know, the fifth dimension. You, you would have thought cloning would have come before that. So hopefully I'll clone myself as well so I can just do lots more stuff. I, I just have a lot of stuff I'd like to do and I just don't have enough time. Basically, I barely have enough time to get my work done, like my normal straight work done and these uh, 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 these screaming into the <laughs> into, my, into my computer videos. Uh, uh, so yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, Substack. Substack is my email newsletter. I just said that. Sign up to it. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, if you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed on, on YouTube. If you're on Rumble, hit the Rumble button hit the subscribe that'd be very very nice thank you very much and my dream is one day one day we will all join hands and go to rumble where where it is free and uh, uh, although it doesn't work as well as youtube <laughs> you know, i hate to tell you that but it but uh, uh you know at, le yeah, at least you're not censored uh uh you know every every 20 seconds fine let's look at this first story from the star. Now I, you know, I have a bit of a strange emotional relationship with the star because I really wanted to read it when I was a kid in the eighties because I had Judge Dredd as a as a strip in it, and my grandfather's oh no 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 you can't you, you can't buy the star because they'll give money to the Labour Party and they're bad right. I just want to read Judge Dredd, mate. Okay, I just want to read Dredd. It's weird though. I I never understood why why my. Uh, uh, my grandfather were really strong tourists. Like they're really, I mean, really, I think they weren't particularly wealthy at all. I think all the work, most working class people, I think, and not most, a large number of working class people were very, very, uh, are very, very Tory because you know working class people normally tend to do quite well. Uh, uh, you know, when 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 capitalism gets uh, uh, you know unrestrained. Um, I would say it was probably the whole like uh, uh, shift in the eighties, the uh, you know the Reaganomics, the Thatcherism. 
I think it probably upset rich people. You're right, <laughs> the, the, the traditional Tory voters much more than much more than Labour voters. But anyway, that's just my impression at the time. Uh, from, from the Daily Star, Doctor Who Easter Special would explore lesbian romance. So when you work the word exploring, you 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 just put up a mental image of uh, uh, you know uh, I, I, how can I put this politely. Uh, clitoral, you know, uh, 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 exploration. <laughs> I mean, it, it's that subconscious. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I hear the word explore lesbian in the same sentence. I'm like, oh. <laughs> again, look, it's hardwired into me. What do you want? Okay, it's really hardwired into me. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll explore lesbian romance. Oh. Uh, between the dog, between the sheets, between the doctor and yeah, well, Yasmin, I should have said yes. After months of teasing... Okay, this all sounds like very sexual language to me, right? After months of teasing, teasing fans with long, simmering chemistry. Okay, really, really? I think they're taking the piss at this at this point. Uh, okay, I, stop, stop everything for a second. Stop everything for a second. Uh, we have to pay attention to one, one detail that I hadn't noticed up until now. Uh, this article was written... <laughs> God, stop! Really? Why? This article was written by Peter Dyke. <laughs> no! What? Like, change your name! What for this article? Peter Dyke? Really? Really? Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? I think you might be taking the piss. Uh, uh, um, okay, fine. <laughs> Peter Dyke. Uh, I, listen, I just find those things that stop uh, uh, flooding in Holland very funny. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, 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 <laughs> after months, after months of this sounds like a, 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 an ad for like a sex phone line. Do they still have those? Right? They were big in the nineties, right? You got you got those ads at like one in the morning. Hi, fun girls waiting. Like I, it, it, they never seem that fun to me, right? I I just you know I I, I can I. I can kind of understand somebody paying for sex, right? Because it's a reasonable amount of work to get sex, right? I mean, it'd be not. It's a reasonable amount of work, right? Paying somebody to talk to you, really? I mean, oh, dude, go 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 meet people, really? Um, uh, uh, okay, fine. I'm going to get past the first sentence. I'm, I'm doing my best. Uh, after a month of teasing... <laughs> I can't! Every time I get to that set, I'm just going to skip this here. Uh, it, uh, uh, questions about their unique relationship will be answered in the upcoming special. Uh, they're desperate to get you to watch. They're desperate. It's going up against Britain got, uh, Britain's Got Talent, which is a juggernaut, right? Here, let's let's look at Britain Got Talent ratings. <laughs> okay, it's an absolute juggernaut in rating. Uh, Britain... Got talent ratings. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Uh, audience right now, three point. I want to know the amount of people watching it. Oh, here we go. Is it this? This has to say. Last. Oh, God, so it hasn't been on since twenty twenty. So it's it's got a big comeback thing going. Oh man, so it's like where is it? Uh, okay, it's in the eight and nine millions. They are screwed beyond screwed. It's going up against the second episode of Brit Brit Britain's Got Talent, which is, again, uh, uh, this is what sort of ratings Doctor Who used to get, right? Uh, uh, it's an absolute juggernaut, right? Oh, man, it got... In 2009, it got 13.36 million. Blimey. But it's still... Look, 2020, it's still got, got a solid 8 million. It's going to absolutely crucify Doctor Who, isn't it? Start, that starts at uh, 7.30. Doctor Who starts at 7. Uh, and nobody wants to watch it to start with. The, I, I wish they started at 7, went head to head. That would be... It would just decimate it. Absolutely decimate And it's the second episode, which means you're just kind of getting into it. And it's the fun ones where you see, like, uh, uh, the goofy people who are useless and the incredible people. And it, you, get, you get the Susan Boyles, right? Right? It's, it's going to crush it. Absolutely crush it. Uh, Doctor Who and Yasmin Khan's Will They Won't They uh, Lesbian Romance will finally come to a head. Uh, okay. Uh, in the TV Easter special. I don't think so, right? I think it's going to hit a plateau. I don't think it's going to come to a head. I think the Doctor's going to go, Oh, no, Icky Thump, I walk in eternity, me. Uh, I can't be around mere flies like you, Yasmin Khan. It's just not... Won't be fair, Icky Thump. Uh, um... Uh, I mean, all, all, all lines along those lines. <laughs> it's like, like that, right? But then I think in the uh, 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 in the centenary special, 
uh, uh, we're going to get uh, uh, the Doctor and Yaz actually consummate their 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 union with a kiss as as the Doctor regenerates. That's really my guess because it's the most obvious thing I can think of. And you know, Chris Chibnall, uh, 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 you know, isn't one for uh, uh, you know uh, uh, doing you know, employing subtlety, right? Uh, so yeah, again, so let's be really good. The blossoming relationship between the pair, played by Jordy Whittaker and Mandy Gill, has been a hot topic of conversation for the past four years. Um, if you cut, well, in the first season, people didn't really pick up on it. I think uh, in a story called Arachnids in the UK, man, I just watched that. It's awful. And I, it, they're, they're, I mean, I'm doing these deep dive. Uh, reviews. I'm not watching them for pleasure. Don't get me wrong, man. How embarrassing. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, speaking about how you know uh, you, how I'm turned on by lesbians. I'm not embarrassed at all uh, 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 that that I might have happened to watch Arachnids in the UK again. I'm really mortified. Okay, that's that's. <laughs> I, when I say I'm turned on by lesbians, not real lesbians, for goodness sake. No, uh, the 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 lipstick gay for pay type. Okay, I don't want reality. I want fantasy. Um, in a story called Arachnids in the UK 2018, Jodas, uh, during Jodas' first year as the time was, they, uh, they were asked if they were an item. Oh, right, but that's what that was by Yaz's mum, wasn't it? When, for, and she also she first asked if uh, uh, Yaz and uh, Ryan were dating as well. Like, why would these two be? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Whovian seized on this, uh, started nicknaming the Doc and Companion uh, Yasmin, Phasmin, penned, uh, and penned fan fiction about their love story. Um, yeah, okay, fans. Uh, 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 back then, I think we'll call them fans. And an Eve of the Dalek, <laughs> uh, earlier this year, uh, fellow title show Dan Lewis, John Bishop, revealed he has spotted that Yaz, uh, the fact that Yaz fancied the Time Lord, uh, and he said, oh, just tell, I mean, really? What if he walked in on, on, on her masturbating to the Doctor's hologram, which you know happened on that so on when, when they're on that stupid steamer ship over and over again, and she kept looking at oh Doctor, oh I miss you, and like and like when she was that that year she was alone in the TARDIS, uh, uh, the spare TARDIS they had quite conveniently. Uh, uh, oh, I'm gonna find the Doctor. I'm gonna work out a fly the, the TARDIS and find the Doctor. Really. Really? I mean, this is what happens when you tell somebody they're the bestest ever and they a have absolutely no uh, uh, ability whatsoever. Um, just tell her, says that Joe, just tell her, Chuck, I love her. Uh, not Chuck, where am I? Uh, uh, yeah, but then he outed Yas to the doctor as well. Now the subject will be dressed in Legend of the Sea Devils. Uh, if they hook up, we'll be the first for the BBC show, which uh, marks its, uh, which next year marks its 60th anniversary, vomiting out uh, uh, Chibnall and Whitaker before before they get there. Thank God. The show run, Chris Chibnall said, Yet and the Doctor have hinted they have feelings they are suppressing and keeping quiet, uh, uh, keeping quiet about. So there's... Uh, some conversations that need to be had, uh, and you'll see those conversations developing and taking place. Oh, I, I, here's a, another prediction, which I think I'm pretty on safe ground for. It'll be boring. <laughs> It'll be boring, like everything else. Tri Triple does is boring. Uh, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna uh, uh, get pushed back. Everything I'm, I'm getting is they're gonna get she's gonna get knocked back. Uh, Mandip adds. The relationship between uh, the Doctor and Yaz has definitely developed further. Uh, there's a lot of bravery. How is it brave? In 20, it's brave to be not gay in 2022. Oh, there's so much bravery. Oh, I'm going to speak the love that dare not speak a thing. You know you're, you're wearing an LBGTQ plus flag on your chest, right? Right, I mean, like, over your tits. I, I don't know. Like, really? I, I think you're sending out a bit of a signal, darling, right? I think you're sending out a bit of a signal. Just seems to me. Um, there's a lot of bravery and a lot of emotions, a lot of understanding. I don't say any of this. And there's a lot of open and honest questions. I, know, so I did this review of... Um, oh, God, it was awful. Uh, what's the one? The partition one. Uh, uh, Demons of the Punjab. Oh, just, oh, it was awful. So at the end, the Doctor is marrying somebody who's about to get killed. Uh, and only she knows. So oh, no, anybody knows around, but he, the, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. So many things didn't make sense in that episode. I mean, really. But she has this little uh, speech that says, "Oh, my faith is love. 
I believe in love, all kinds of love. Uh, honestly, when na nowadays, and it really is nowadays, the last couple of weeks, all kind of love includes stopping kids, okay? So stop with your all kinds of love, right? I don't know what you're going to get to next. Oh, look, there's a carrot. I'll go I'll go for a bit of that. I I, I don't know. And, you, you know, you're laughing, right? Hopefully. You're laughing. You wait eight months, two years, whatever. You'll have carrot sexual rights coming, mate. Oh, carrot juice? What are you, some kind of fiend? How dare you crush up a carrot? Oh, yeah, they'll all be cancelled. All the Melanie Bush stuff will be because <laughs> Melanie Bush. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 it, I have a very juvenile sense <laughs> of yeah, I just do. Okay, I do. Uh, uh, Bishop has... Uh, right, uh, right, uh, kid. It was obvious that their feelings were there, uh, between them. Well, that yeah, they wrote it right. <laughs> it's like Louis uh, C.K. does this really good bit about goodwill hunting, uh, uh, where where you yeah, know they Matt Damon writes a movie to make Matt Damon look awesome, right? <laughs> like there's like, a bit where he gets this uh, two two people like him and somebody else are trying to get a girl's number. And he goes up to him after he gets the number and says, Hey, do you like apples? Right? Uh, and all his friends are standing around going, ha, 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 ha. And he's like, and the guy goes, yeah. Uh, and he goes, well, how do you like that, apples? Ah, oh, I got her number. All the, I mean, like, you couldn't tell that's a setup, right? Oh, if Matt Damon wasn't writing that, he'll be like, hey, do you like apples? Yeah, not really. I piss off you prick. Yeah, and they're like, what? What? No, no, no! You got you 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 got you got to say I don't like apples. Now piss off! I'm I'm gonna come get this girl's number. Uh, like it, they writing it that way. It's not that they're making it up. They're literally writing it that way. Um, so there's a lot of bravery, a lot of emotion, oh, I keep them, and a lot of understanding. Oh, oh, I understand. I I understand. You want to have sex with me? Oh, okay. I understand that. There's a lot of open and honest conversations. You know, okay, an open and honest conversation would be like, uh, Yaz will go to the doctor. You know, doctor, I'm not really very clever. Uh, uh, I'm not stunning and brave at all. And the doctor would be like, oh, I keep up. I'm not either. Bloody hell. I mean, like that, that, that is what the conversation would be. If an open and honest conversation would look like. Um, uh, otherwise, it was it. So uh, it's as obvious that uh, uh, there's feeling between them. Sometimes you just got to act on them like, uh, otherwise it'll be too late. Well, there you go. Where, where's the wisdom from Dan Lewis there? Thank you, Dan. Um, Dan, who has the weirdest life, right? That character has the weird, lives on his own, uh, uh, like turned on by the one-armed woman. I don't really understand. I don't really understand at all. The episode is the second part of a trilogy. Not really a trilogy. It's three episodes. Okay, they're not like they, they had two episodes that they were like kind of the what was it the Eve of the Dalek and uh, was it Eve, Eve of the Dalek last one? Yeah, and Centenary Special. And then they said, "Oh, can you do another one?" And they wrote it in three days. Yes, they wrote it in three days. Right, and they were very rushed to do it. Uh, so not really special. Uh, Mark and Jill is uh, fine on it. So I can understand the Daily Star wanting to have a nice headline about lesbians. Because again, again, look, you're going to get the a uh, LBGTQ plus IA crowd in. You're going to get the queer crowd in, right? You're probably going to get the lesbian crowd in, right? They're not big crowds, right? They're, they're, you're not going to get that many people. They're not huge, huge crowds. Uh, um... But uh, uh, you are going to get, you know, the you know the heterosexual male crowd to read that as well. Quite a lot of people, right? Quite a lot of people. So I understand them them doing that. What I don't understand, on any, actually, I was going to say about this story in any way, shape, or form. I don't understand. Uh, is our friends at Screen Rant, right? Screen Rant. This is from from Thomas Bacon again. Terrible writer. Uh, bacon, fantastic breakfast, breakfast meat. Fantastic meat in general, right? You can put bacon into any. I like. I, I was watching Master Chef. I only watch the American Master Chef. I don't know why. Uh, 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 I, I prefer. You know what? I'll tell you why. I watch. I only watch American Master Chef because it's so fake, right? They they always have these products they want you to push. And they want the contestants to push, and uh, they get it's like I got my uh, Ronco, no, my Master Chef brand Ronco Actor Fry, you know, like whatever it is, and made and made this thing, like just very naturally. So I do like the fakeness of it. Uh, I, 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 they started doing Master Chef Junior with kids, and I, I just don't want to see Gordon Ramsay shout out, shout a bunch, bunch of children. Well, I kind of do. <laughs> now I think about it, like, oh, actually, uh, it could be helpful. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, uh, how do I get into MasterChef? I don't know. 
I don't know. Uh, uh, but yeah, oh, ba ba uh, bacon. Oh yeah, on oh, MasterChef once, someone was making an apple pie and they crumbled bacon in into the crust. I I, 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 was, I had to grab my armrest. I was like, groaned with pleasure. Uh, uh, do, does that get me going more than lesbians? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe lesbians with an apple pie with bacon in the crust. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds like that sounds like a, a recipe for a good evening for me. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, you 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 want to throw in uh, uh, whatever. Do you, you, you want to throw in uh, uh, Remembrance of the Daleks <laughs> and I, I, I think we might have a winner uh, uh, Doctor Who stars hint at developing companion romance this is from like, how many articles can this, this bloody paper write, this, this magazine write about this uh, I, yeah we know we know, okay? None of this is new. And honestly, when they had this picture taken, what did they think was going to happen, right? How did they think it was going to get interpreted? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Doctor Shana Christian and Star, Star Mandip Gill tease the budding Doctor companion, uh, the budding Doctor companion romance, which could blossom uh, in the spring special. It's not. This is teasing the gay crowd. And now he got, not the gay crowd, the queen. Crowd, I'm sorry. I apologize to gay people everywhere. Uh, um, this is why they have that queer uh, audio drama that's very gay and very trans. Love is love, all forms of love. So I'm gonna rape a child now, okay? And that's it. It's not me who's made that up, okay? <laughs> love is love. Um, Doctor Who showed, and again. That I'm living in a world where, where I'm, I'm equating same-sex relations to uh, pedophilia blows my freaking mind, right? It, it just blows my freaking mind that this is where the world has got come to. Like this is what it's all, uh, 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 you know, collapsed into. Uh, Doctor Shannon, Christian Moon star, man and Mandic girl. Uh, and John Bishop have teased major developments in the show's latest companion uh, romance. Uh, in the upcoming spring special, Doctor Who is considered the world's... What? Longest-running science fiction series. Considered? What the hell does that mean? It is the world's longest-running science fiction series. I understand that Stargate um, replaced it in the Guinness Book of Records in the early 2000s when Doctor Who wasn't being made. Uh, uh, and they said, oh, we, we've been running continuously for 13 years. Really? 13 years? That's incredible. And the Doctor Who fans, but we, we, what? what? We, we, we just finished season 26. No, <laughs> 26! Literally double, right? Literally double. So, oh, no, you haven't been running con uh, in, in, in continuous production. Yes, it has. Yes, it, I, I, I never understood that. It's considered... Well, I guess, again, you know, if if one is normally considered a boy if they have a penis uh, and they're not anymore, I guess that, there's nothing you can really hang your hat on, right? Uh, but there's one major difference between the classic and the modern era, the idea of uh, romance involving the Doctor. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. I can't think of a... I mean, you had the Hartnell and the 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 Aztec, uh, Aztec elderly lady, what was her name? Kamika, I can't remember the name. A great store of the Aztecs. Man, I haven't seen that in years. Oh, man, I love to watch the Aztecs. If you haven't seen it, really freaking awesome story, right? Really interesting stuff about, uh, uh, you know, getting involved in time. You can't change the time. Not one line. And so Bill is like, it was, it was great. It's a really clever script. Very, very well realized, right? Uh, uh, I was quite, I, I was genuinely quite impressed. Um... Uh, but there's one we, uh, Doctor's Lover. Until 19, uh, 1996, the closest show had come. Oh, look, they're saying right here. Was a, was a, uh, uh, to such what was uh, in the Aztecs uh, when the first Doctor accepted a cup of cocoa from an elderly Aztec lady uh, and accidentally got engaged. In 1996, uh, the Doctor Who TV movie changed everything with a kiss between the Doctor and companion Grace Holloway. Oh, man, and what a big deal that, that was. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This, this is, I, I, I'm not sure I'm going to cover this on my uh, live stream, right? Because I was trying, I was looking around for uh, things to use, funny things to use for a thumbnail for this video, right? And so I, uh, I, I, I typed in uh, Doctor Who lesbian porn parody. I'm like, maybe, maybe there's one there, you know, like a box cover or something like that. Uh, um, and there's, 
it seems to be by the same guy, right? See, the guy who does these really detailed drawings, uh, uh, lots and lots of uh, uh, com uh, companion drawings, very, very well drawn, uh, uh, all with <laughs> all with the tops open and the boobs hanging out, right? I, I I don't really understand. It was saying it was somewhat disconcerting seeing seeing Barbara, uh, you know, Bar uh, uh, Barbara flashing me, right? But Marty crying me. It really was. It just felt wrong, right? I was like, I, I, but very good drawings. Re I was really bizarre. Really bizarre that, that they existed. But and they must have put a lot of time into it as well. So I, I'm uh, I really should try and find out who did those. Yeah, but I was like, really? That's weird. But yeah, okay. So the uh, uh, the great the, the the grace kiss that was such a big deal, right? And I everyone was freaking out, and we saw it, and it wasn't anything, right? It wasn't anything. Uh, Rusty Davis built on this when he relaunched the uh, Doctor in two thousand five. Treat the Doctor as a love interest. Well, you know, it, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I, I it didn't really work with with Eccleston. He was too messed up, right? He was too, you know, uh, uh, PTSD. Um, but the David Tennant thing, yeah, I, I really think that worked with Rose. I really, really do. I think that was probably the, uh, one of the best bit of the Tennant era. Uh, and I'm glad that it was never constant. You know, they never did get together except, you know, the clone of him, I guess, in the meta uh, Doctor. Uh, but we never saw them get together, which I quite liked. And I like, and it was good as like a one-off thing, right? The show had a big thing. Doing it again, uh, it, it's just moronic. I think it's just absolute, absolutely, absolutely you know, moronic. The um, uh, uh, it, 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 yeah, it didn't really happen since, right? We had uh, we have Martha fancied the pants of David Tennant, right? I got a very lesbian vibe from Martha, quite frankly, though. Uh, is she gay? She strikes me as being gay in real life, right? She, I, I got a very little lesbian vibe from her. Well, back to lesbians again. But, see, it doesn't take long, does it? All, all roads lead to lesbians. Oh, man. It, on my planet. <laughs> so funny. Uh, um... I don't, see, I totally forgot what I was talking about now. All roads lead to lesbians. I can't think of anything else. Uh, um... But like, oh yeah, so the, yeah, the uh, 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 Martha's had the gay vibe. I like that Donna wasn't interested. Or you want a mate? Is it no? I didn't have a friend. Uh, I, I it was I, I it worked with Amy mooning over the eleventh Doctor uh, because she was like an eighteen year old horny girl, right? Which uh, made made it quite watchable for me. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, I probably could have put that personality into Perry. Now we're talking. Uh, um, so what was that? Then Clara, Clara just seemed a bit too prissy and perfect to have sex, right? She seemed like, ew, damn, I'm not going to get that messy. Ew. Uh, 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 and then uh, uh, Bill Potts, Bill Potts came along. You might not have noticed, right? You might not have known this. Uh, uh, Bill Potts was actually a lesbian. Yeah, that character. They hardly mentioned it. They hardly, no, my mistake. They hardly stopped mentioning it. Anyway, but as a one-time thing, fine, right? But now we've got like... Oh god, and they're just doing it for uh, you know for the uh, uh, stunning and brave applause for being brave, for being emotional and brave and stunning and brave. Um, fine, where I uh, modern Doctor Who has returned uh, to this idea time and again. Nope, we just went over that. Uh, most recently, we showed one of Chris Gemmell while writing scripts for Doctor Who season thirteen. He hit upon the idea of a queer romance between the thirteenth uh, Doctor. Uh, Jodie Whittaker and Mandit Gill. Again, why? So, I, I, on behalf of gay people. And I, I, again, I didn't expect to be speaking on behalf of gay people, right? <laughs> on behalf of gay people, whatever. Stop calling it queer. Really? No. Call them <laughs> being gay is so much better than being queer in my mind. Like, being gay, I feel, is kind of normal. Being queer could be... In anything, mate, right? Literally in... Oh, there's a vacuum cleaner. Let me shove that up my ass. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, because I'm queer. I mean, queer is... The word queer is queer. Um, Doctor Who's Laser Companion Romance has proved controversial. Yes, because it's a lesbian romance, you morons. Uh, but it seems like... It seems it will be key part in the upcoming uh, Doctor Who Spring Special. It's going to be one scene. Okay, one scene, and and, and the uh, the Jodie fans are going to be mad as hell, right? Mad as hell. I just don't understand why they're having this out, doing this today. I mean, like again, 
Yeah, this seems to be somewhat old news. The BBC has published new interviews with uh, Chibnall uh, uh, and several of the stars that make it clear the spring special will be an important moment in the Doctor's relationship with Yaz. Um, who's saying this? I think it's really in even the dark. Both Yaz and the Doctor have hinted they have feelings they are suspecting and keeping quiet about. Um... The, I, again, this doctor is so. I, 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 I'm doing a deep dive on 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 really the the, the details of this doctor. Right, this doctor is is uh, uh, just a wreck, a mess, an absolute mess. Keeps making mistakes, makes massive mistakes, gets everybody in danger all the time. Uh, uh, is generally speaking an idiot. Right. Uh, uh, um, yeah, I, and and so I can understand why she's closed off to 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 her emotions. Um, Jim and Reserve. So there, uh, so there are some conversations they ne that need to be had, and you'll see those conversations development taking place here. There is the sea devil. Please watch. Gay people, please watch because they're so virtuous. Please, please, please. Um, there are the sea devils. The doctor and he has have something to talk about. Uh, ask about the same. Uh, ask the same question. Gil herself was careful not to give too much away because they, they they they're terrified of giving anything away because then people won't watch. Listen, mate. No one's watching anyway, right? No one's watching anyway. Two million, even the Daleks, two million. We're not going to find out the live figure for uh, unless Doctor Who magazine prints it again by mistake. <laughs> they might do to double down, right? Because people double down when they've got egg all over their face, right? They really, really do. Uh, 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 they might do, but I doubt it. But man, would you love to see that? Uh, and the live figure... They'll be lucky to hit to hit two million. They'll probably uh, they, yeah they won't hit two million. On the, they didn't do it on New Year's Day. They're not going to do it on Easter Sunday against uh, 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 Britain's Got Bloody Talent. I reckon they'll be. Do you reckon they'll they'll hit a million? What well, okay? Well, the figure we're going to see is the consolidated, not the the overnight figure, which will be. My guess is. Um, under under three point five and a, well, what was uh, 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 Eva the Eva the Dar? Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, Doctor Who. Let's have a look. <laughs> it goes right to the ratings. It's so funny. Um, where was it? Oh no. Ratings. Was it? What's it called again? Rating. I just put ratings. Let's see what they say. What was the name of it? They called it Ratometer or something. Hello, go now, come find find it for us. I could just look up. A, I actually have it on my on my hard drive. Uh, ah, February seventh, twenty two. It's actually a few defense ratings. Uh, uh, cool series thirteen. Really healthy. Really. Like I, I, I ask that. How do you make that 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 evaluation, right? I, how do you make that evaluation? Oh, it's gone up, gone up quite a bit. So the uh, overnight was three point two. Oh, do you think they're going to get three? That'll be funny. Won't that be funny? Oh man, oh man, three point two. <laughs> um, my guess is it'll be under three. Oh please, please, listen, listen. Look, I'm a bit of a Bible thumper. Good Lord, the Good Lord in heaven. Can I, can I make a plea to you as a special treat to me? As a special treat, can you make it under two? If you want, I mean, if you're handing out treats, uh, make it, make it under one. <laughs> um. Uh, wait, wait, something to, so, so, uh, conversations, blah, 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 blah. Uh, conversations are not concluded in this episode. Yeah, I understand. But they definitely have advanced from where they were at, in the news episode. There's a lot of open and honest conversations. Do you know everybody thinks that Doctor Who is shit? Yes, we do. No, no, we're not going to have those open and honest conversations. Oh, you want, you understand that all this grooming stuff is so we can have sex with children? No, they're not going to be that open and honest, are they? Um, Doctor Who's latest companion romance was poorly signposted. Well, that is true. Uh, in part because it wasn't planned out in the first place. Uh, it seems that like the show is doubling down on it, uh, which, to be fair, is the only way to handle this plot. I For Chibnall, yeah. Uh, as uh, Chibnall notes the holiday special, even the Dalek did indeed hint that Doctor and he hasn't been holding uh, their true feelings of one other. Well, it didn't hint. It's like Doctor Who considered. It didn't hint. It, it, it expressed that idea, right? That wasn't a hint. 
uh, with Dan pushing them to, to finally admit how they feel and outing Yaz to the Doctor. This potentially takes the Doctor to in a very different direction because previously companion romance have tended to be unrequited love. It's what it's going to be. Oh, please. It'll be interesting to see how the show handles it. You're going to be pissed off. They're going to be pissed off when it, is, when it isn't handled. Uh, unfortunately, a nascent uh, relationship between the Doctor and Yaz is surely doomed in tragedy. Because, yeah, okay, in the end. Fine. So, uh, uh, Mija... Means you're very, very, very into Thasmin. We want to know more about Thasmin. Thasmin! Right? Thasmin. Uh, uh, um, but Bleeding Cool, no. Bleeding Cool wants to stay one step ahead. One step ahead at all times. Uh, uh, um, so uh, Bleeding Cool is asking uh, uh, this, I think, quite a uh, much more interesting question. Doctor Who, what's really wrong with Chris Chibnall's run? Uh, uh, may, can, I, can I just point you to this headline? Uh, talk to Ian's and Tobacco's at uh, developing companion relation. Oh, this one, the lesbian relationship, right? Yeah, that's the one of the problems. Uh, uh, lack of talent is another huge one. Uh, it's pretty much agreed that uh, that amongst fans, the Doctor Who under Christian was tenure as showrunner has not been anywhere as good as his predecessor, Russell David Stephen Moffat. Really? Is it really? Because I remember anybody saying that, people like you, Mr. Bleeding Cool, will call them icky wicky bigots, right? I, really? Really, you piece of crap. Um, not many people have ever put, put their finger on exactly what's wrong. Go see my channel. I, I have very, very detailed critiques. Uh, okay, so uh, well, now they go off the edge. Sexist, racist, and homophobes have blamed it on the car thing and Jody Whittaker as the female doctor. No, no, we did. I mean, uh, I, I guess some did, but uh, uh, no, 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 no. It wasn't. I mean, yeah, she was horribly miscast, horribly miscast, and, and she's just, in my opinion, not clever enough to play this role, right? It takes intelligence. And she just doesn't have it, right? Funnily enough, funnily enough, talk about things that turn me on, which I have been all video. Uh, 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 one of the reasons I, I like, I've always uh, uh, been turned on by Leela, other than yeah, Leela, because uh, Leela was before my my time, right? In terms of uh, 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 my my sexual awakening, shall we say? I, I, it, listen, it started around Tegan uh, uh, and then blossomed a lot around uh, around Perry. Pl bl blossomed in a way that really really made me have to wash my clothes very very often anyway especially my trousers anyway anyway, anyway. uh uh um but uh uh, uh it's because she's so smart right i just find that very sexy because i find the way that she takes apart a role and she thinks about it and she develops it and and, it, and it's very authentic i find that really 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 sexy plus she's super sexy i i, I still remember while i was watching the sun makers uh, uh, no, she's not sexy. I find she's more insanely beautiful, right? I was watching the Sun Makers and I paused it for some. I was my kids there, paused it, and Leela was on the screen, and, and uh, she, you could have framed that 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 picture. She had such a classical uh, 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 depiction of beauty, but I think it's like you know her being smart that make that 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 makes her. Uh, her attractive. I think I think we'll say the same thing with Gillian Anderson. Yeah. Plus, you you get the you get the feeling that Gillian Anderson is up for anything. <laughs> hey, Gillian, can you dress as Margaret Thatcher? Uh, uh, you know, I don't know why, but that kind of turns me on now as well. But I don't know how how she got me to think Margaret Thatcher was hot, but she did. Uh, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch The Crown. Um, so anyway, really, uh, not people. Sexist, racist, and homophobic. They blame the cafe and dealing with a female doctor. No, that was a symptom. Uh, more characters, uh, more characters of, of color in the main cast. No, there wasn't. There wasn't more characters of color. There was a black companion. I mean, I, uh, I guess there's Yaz, but no, nobody cares. No, 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 no. Well, you're, you're, this is called straw manning. You're making a ridiculously weak argument so you can knock it over. Yeah, no, 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 no. And too much woke. Okay, uh, more LGBTQ characters. Uh, well, what about the IA bigot scum? Uh, uh, and too much woke. Uh, too much woke, we agree in. But they put wokes on like, what is woke? Oh, we don't know. We don't understand. It's just made up. It's the reason you're sucking Chris Jimmel's cock, you lying pieces of shit. Okay, because it's super woke. I don't know what woke is. That's why you like it, you lying pieces of crap. Uh, we would argue the problem with the show is not that it's not woke enough. <laughs> really, you still have some viewers left. You know, you're not down to like you know 
a small collection of random lesbians from a community center. Uh, uh, in fact, it's a lot less woke than it w uh, was under Davis and Moffat, and that's the problem all along. It should be more woke. Well, okay. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. Uh, I'd like to see ever car. The problem with uh, Chibnall's Doctor Who is that he trans do uh, transformed the Doctor into a conservative? I mean, she's a, I mean, she's a conformist, right? Absolutely a conformist, but the dominant culture is left wing, not right wing, right? Uh, uh, um, she's totally a conformist, right? But she's a conformist to left wing ideology. Love is love in all its forms. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, which again is code for raping children. Okay, I <laughs> just want to be clear, right? Uh, uh, oh, it's all love. Oh, what, what do you mean love? Because I really love raping children. Okay, I understand that, I understand that. Welcome to Hollywood. Uh, this has been on mine for quite some while, but a fan video commentator, Faris, oh man, Faris. There's always wars going on with Faris, right? Always, always like these, you know, explain. Some, I, I think he kind of leaves me alone because I just ignore him. But there's always like, oh, what is that? Like, good luck to him, mate. I, I <laughs> whatever. Uh, uh, um, uh, who beat, uh, beat us the pointing on his YouTube channel. He deserves the credit for being the first one to say it out loud. Well, okay, Faris. Uh, the moral failures of the 13th Doctor. Okay, I bet we're going to agree, which is the funny thing, right? Uh, Th uh, Faris points out that Chibnall's Doctor was uh, one who, de uh, who defeated individual bad apples but left horrible political, uh, social, and economic uh, systems uh, in place to carry on getting away with it. Anyway, the terrible things they do. Yeah, okay. What, what, what I think you're noticing here is the poor quality of writing because they start off with uh, uh, whatever premise they want, they, 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 whatever idea they want to give over, right? In uh, uh, Demons of the Punjab, for example, they didn't want to educate anybody on the uh, uh, the British partition of India into India and Pakistan. No, they wanted to complain that evil white men did it, and that's why you had no education. I could understand what was going on. Like, what's the what, like? Why are Hindus and Muslims fighting? I didn't understand. They didn't explain it because they expected you to know because they wanted you to just applaud at, uh, to them at their uh, uh, at you know how they looked at this, right? So. Um, yeah, and then you had, and so there are so many plot holes in it where the Doctor is basically a moron, right? The Doctor assumes these aliens are uh, evil when they're good, and she makes a bunch of assumptions, and she's just not very doctory, right? And that happens over and over again. You know, in Rosa, she's completely, uh, uh, um, uh, what's the word, uh, uh, impotent. She really can't do anything. In fact, their big act of bravery was sitting on the bus, right? And Graham, Graham keeps getting the doctor moments again the, i'm re-watching season one anyway somebody's gonna say uh so yeah so what you're picking up on is like really really bad uh really bad writing because they're more concerned with platforming woke ideas than uh um they're not and yeah it's true the woke ideas have changed since in the last couple of years but that's what happens right when, when you get go into that stuff oh man god it's it's it's, it's gone 45 minutes in the dogs have to wait the dog has to wait for it for its walk okay um in Rosa, the Doctor defeats a racist from the future by stopping Rosa Parks from being discriminated against to prevent American civil rights movement from taking off. Uh, right, so it's it's it, it, yeah, it's just dumb. This it, it, that was dumb. Like in fifty thousand, it was another thirty centuries. There'd be no civil rights movement without Rosa Parks. That, that's just dumb. Uh, rather than attacking the actual fabric of, of uh, racism, that. Uh, permeated american society at the time well how's the doctor going to do that it's like then then she's a time meddler okay um but what other doctor would have done that you know again it would have been a fixed point in time i think uh the worst example is kablam i wasn't sure if i was going to do that where the doctor goes off uh after an activist turned terrorist uh out bombing customers of an amazon-like business because it treats his employers like crap uh, it's a uh, okay. So it's a common neoliberal pro-capitalist sentiment to paint activists and protesters as murderous terrorists in order to render their uh, valid arguments against capitalism, uh, capitalist practice invalid. Uh, yeah, 
But it's not, I, 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 what really was it, is a neoliberal pro-capitalist sentiment. Uh, you do remember uh, the BLM uh, uh, mostly peaceful protest that caused billions of dollars of damage, burnt down uh, buildings, murdered lots of people, right? You do remember that, don't you? Because I kind of do. It wasn't that long ago, and it was a bit weird. It was a bit weird. Uh, uh, so, you know, yes, while uh, it may be a neoliberal pro-capitalist sentiment, it's also uh, uh, burning all that shit down didn't really help either, did it? Did it? Uh, uh, and then, and then, in the cold light of day, when you look at it, everything they said turned out to be wrong. I mean, you, I, I can't believe this isn't common knowledge. Uh, George Floyd, uh, uh, I don't know how, what killed him. I do know there was a lethal dosage of fentanyl in the system, though. When they were, the, I mean, I, uh, could it be the lethal dosage of the pet fentanyl in the system that killed him? Ah, uh, could be. <laughs> Um, the same tactics was used uh, to smear Occupy Wall Street protests in Chris Nolan's The uh, Dark Knight Rises back in 2012. I don't remember that at all, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark Knight, sorry, well, yeah, it wasn't that good. But again, again, you know, the uh, 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 it did kind of look that. By the way, did you notice that's, uh, 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 that's when... The, uh, when people were protesting the the you know, financial inequities, uh, it was basically it was like it was a class, um, um, what's the word? Uh, not not rebellion. It was a class. It was a class based protest more than anything else. It got turned into a race based mo um, um, uh, movement, really deflecting the class based protest, isn't it? Uh, uh, I wonder how that happened. Best by accident, maybe. Uh, meanwhile, the doctor leaves uh, the AI running the business intact after it murdered at least one innocent employee to punish the protester. Uh, uh, in the past, the doctor would have wiped out the computer system uh, for committing murder. I, okay, I'll, so I'll do a deep dive on this one and see, see what I think. That was a, uh, one of the most moral failures uh, the doctor has ever committed uh, in the entire history show. Do you not remember when she committed genocide three times over in Doctor Who Flux? There, there was that. There was that. Uh, in Orphan 55, oh, God, what? One of the worst episodes. It was the worst episode ever until the next one. Uh, a seemingly typical episode that pushes an envi uh, uh, environmental, environmental measures. The Doctor calls on individuals to prevent a catastrophic future without ever calling out governments and corporations uh, that cause the uh, greatest environmental problems. Okay, so I think I picked up on the problem here, right? Here's the problem. They can't do that, right? They can't. Act, they, they, I saw this very clearly in De De Demons of, of, of you know the Punjab. In Demons of the Punjab, the uh, uh, Vinay Patel had a very particular worldview and a way that he wanted to look at the partition of India, which was a disaster that killed millions of people. They ended up with the deaths of millions of people, right? Hundred percent, millions of displacement. I don't know. Was a disaster. I agree with you. I agree with you, right? But. Because he has a particular worldview, he couldn't really explain how the petition happened and what what caused all the you know uh, the rioting and the deaths. Because then he would have to go to facts, and facts are easily provable or disprovable. And, and most of the time, people on that side of the cultural aisle, their facts just do not support them. That's why they just kind of ignore them and they just don't look at them at all. Right. So, yeah, I understand. But had you had he pointed out the facts and actually said it, uh, said it clearly uh, uh, and called out the uh, governments and corporations, they, then people would have fact checked and said, oh, no, you're talking absolute nonsense. You know, this is this. This can happen when you uh, take your cues from Greta Thunberg, uh, uh, a, at the time, a. Uh, a minor uh, suffering from many, many mental complaints, right? Many forms of mental illness, including occasional muteness and autism. Uh, uh, um, uh, you, you, you sometimes, uh, when you base your your show on that, you don't. You're not basing it on the strongest arguments in the world, now are you? Uh, again, the doctor puts the responsible individual, uh, uh, responsibility on individuals who don't have much power as a system uh, uh, that the doctor tacitly supports by leaving them standard. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, again, again, this here has been awful. Uh, this carries over the flat, uh, into Flux. Chimmel's worst uh, season uh, and worst written, uh, the worst written mind in sloppy, lazy writing. 
uh, where long speeches full of gobbledygook exposition showed uh, all the weak points of the show and Chimnall's writing on a technical level. Um, no, you, you should re you should watch his first season. I think Flux was his most successful season, right? Because it was, for at least half of it, uh, uh, it seemed to annoy me that they were watching Doctor Who, right? Uh, uh, which is, I think, the closest that he could possibly get. Uh, technically, however, the moral laziness persisted in the Doctor's failure to question the uh, brutal system she w was working for uh, as a part of, even though that she ra uh, ran from it in the past, rather than openly oppose it and bring it down. Uh, she does nothing to refute or oppose Tech 2, and the adopted mother exploited and abused her. Uh, the undoing of the... Dis Again, when you, when you put these criticisms out at the time, they called you a bigot, remember? Uh, the undoing of the destruction of the universe uh, feels weak. I, I, they, they didn't undo it. They stopped it, right? And incomplete by the end. Incomplete and un uh, unsatisfying. Defies Jim Law, we of Doctor Who. Well, see, you go long enough, well, you'll find some common ground, right? You'll find some common ground. Uh, a Doctor for the Brexit era is miserable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... Uh, the do uh, the doctor of past series was always interested in and uh, was always an, an anti-establishment figure, contemptuous of authority who believed uh, who believed trust had to be earned. They frequently brought down entire regimes and governments for being unfair and exploitive. Some makers, for example, uh, 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 pa not Paradise Towers, oh, Paradise Towers too. But I was good. what's what I'm thinking of? Uh, happiness Patrol. Love Happiness Patrol. Right. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, uh, and yes, I very much, I very clearly see all the gay analogies in it. You know, when they killed the guy with the, with the pink triangle on his on his shirt, I, I kind of gave it away. Wasn't being overly subtle. Uh, they frequently brought down entire uh, being, uh, the monsters and killer robots, and those others were usually extensions of the regime's evil. So they defeated them, uh, and uh, they defeated them, and and. The uh, and and the whole regime that uh, uh, that was always a central pill of the Doctor a Hero brought change. Um, yeah, not always, but okay. Uh, Chimnall did. I think somebody who heals things, makes things better, makes people better, make people the best versions of themselves. Uh, Chimnall's Doctor did not bring change uh, at all, but maintained the awful status quo. This Doctor is oddly passive, doing only the minimal, uh, saving the world, but leaving its badness in place. Okay. So, how do you, so I don't think we're, I don't think we're agreeing on what woke is, right? We're just agreeing on what awful is. Being more more woke won't make it more technically proficient, which is, I think is what what you're complaining about. You could say that this doctor is for the Brexit era, a uh, morally lazy, tired, passive, doing the minimum to keep up appearances. Oh, so you're saying that this doctor is just like a defeated person, uh, like you are after Brexit? Uh, really, I don't. I don't really see that. I just think it's written by by a talentless loser. Quite frankly, I think that's what, what's going on. Um, it's unfortunate that Chimmel turned uh, Jodie Whittaker into the embodiment of that. Disappointing and disappointed and angry fans have detected that. Uh, but ended up blaming her for the show's failing. Oh, don't blame St. Jordy. Oh, I keep thought though. It's not Whittaker's fault. Well, she, yeah, she did read the scripts, right? She can only ever be as good as the script she's given. Excuse me, Capaldi rewrote stuff. Tom Baker rewrote stuff, right? You know, the, you had to write up to that level of talent. She uh, she tried to play the Doctor. She was uh, meant to be a joyous, irreverent, maternal northerner uh, given to extravagant fun. But they wrote her like an idiot, right? They couldn't write it. Uh, she's most similar to Peter Davison's Doctor in that she wasn't an authority figure. Peter Davison had much more authority than she ever had. Uh, less given, the, uh, given to suddenly commanding a room uh, through sheer force, uh, or force of will like every other Doctor. The problem is, the scripts never let her go far enough. Okay, they never let her push things over the edge. Because it will... Why? Because then you're going to have a, a definable things that people like me will point to and go, that's nonsense, right? That's nonsense. 
this is why uh, so much hope is invested in return of. of uh, Oh, well, did, did I miss a line? The, the, problem is, uh, the problem is the scripts never let it go far, and I've never put, pushed her over there to make a truly formidable doctor. She can't do it. She cannot do it. She can't pull it off, okay? Uh, this is why so much hope is return of Rusty Davis. Show one of the hope is he will bring back some of the moral authority of the doctor. Uh, the doctor is willing to destroy entire corrupt regimes, uh, governments, and corporation systems. Uh, so that uh, something better can replace it. I mean, I, I, the best example of that, I, th I, I would have thought, would be David Tennant uh, saying, you know, don't, you know, don't, uh, don't you think she looks tired, right? I, um, make a fair point. Okay, we agree. We agree. Th this era is horribly written. I think well, by looking at these articles, we can we can uh, uh, come up with, with a central thesis. This era is horribly, horribly Horribly written, right? Horribly, horribly written. Uh, uh, they came to work out how horribly bad they were at writing it. Uh, and so they came up with a cunning plan, which was Thasmin, amongst other things. So people, so people will be distracted from the horribly low quality, the horrible low quality of writing, right? Uh, uh, unfortunately, Bleeding Cool, Bleeding Cool picked up on this and went, wait a minute. This is shit. <laughs> so yeah, you go. We have we have the problem. We we have the solution and then the problem, right? So there is a is a backwards way of doing it. Uh, uh, but I think it works. I think it works. So there you go. My name is Sailor American, the rabbi from another planet. Like, share, subscribe, comment, Substack. All those things are freaking awesome. And, and genuinely, thank you very much for doing. Gen gen and th thank you for joining me today. Uh, join me tomorrow. Where we'll have more fun and frolics and me screaming in screaming into the camera in my basement about some terrible, terrible uh, uh, obscenity hoisted onto us uh, as pure, poor, innocent people here in fandom. My name's Sheila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Have yourselves a freaking awesome day.